Welcome to another episode of Marketing Tips for Doctors. I'm your host, Dr. Barbara Hales, and today we have with us Susan or Susie Pruden. Susie is a legend, an internationally acclaimed speaker and seminar leader, a New York Times bestselling author before the internet, fitness expert, body mind pioneer, hypnotherapist, success and empowerment coach, TV host on NBC and Nickelodeon, creator of the Inner Mind Certification Program, and now book publisher and host on WBAI-FM Radio in New York. Susie Pruden's current specialty is publishing itty-bitty books by experts to give the reader exactly what they want and need on the topic of their choice with no fluff. She then works with the author to use their book as a business builder, not just a business card. Itty Bitty Books are the perfect marketing tool for the entrepreneur and small business owner. Welcome to the show, Susie. Thank you. It's really, it's wonderful to be here. It's wonderful to be here. Thank you for this opportunity. Now, in the past, uh, you were a business coach, and you know there were a lot of accolades that I mentioned. Uh, why did you decide to go into publishing? It was an accident, Barbara, and it, we didn't. My sister and I were working on a book, and we didn't know what we were doing. This was in, um, around two thousand six, actually. We didn't know what we were doing, and so we wrote a small book. I've written a lot of books. I've written about 14 books and with big houses, and we were told by one of our coaches that a good marketing tool would be to write a small book, and I had a weight loss center in Beverly Hills at that time, so I said to my sister, well, I'll write a book, Susie Pruden's Itty Bitty Weight Loss Book, and because my name's been on everything for all the number of years that I've been in business, which is over 50, and we wrote the book but we didn't know what we were doing. We bought 2000 copies because that's what you had to do then. And I think we have 1800 left. And now this, <laughs> yeah. So in 2014, I asked her to make the book smaller and change the cover, which she did. And then doing that, she took my name off the cover. And it, instead of Susie Pruden's Itty Bitty Weight Loss book, it was your amazing Itty Bitty Weight Loss book. I looked at the book and I said, are you sure you want to take my name off? And she said, I don't care. And as I looked at the book, I said, well, that's actually a million dollar business and we don't have to write all the books. She and I have written probably 30 books between us. We don't have to write them anymore. Three days later, we were in business. Two weeks later, we had our first signed author. And six weeks later, we had our first published book out on the market. We have now over a hundred books. We have 85 bestsellers. We did our 85th bestseller campaign yesterday. And we are we're having a we're having a blast. I just got off the phone with my sister. She has retired since we started the business. She's 80, she'll be 82 next in yeah, next month. And uh, so she's retired and I'm taking the, the company and moving it forward. It's very, very exciting. Well, you are so right when you say it is a great marketing tool because when you give out business cards, of course, most of them wind up in the circular trash, but nobody ever throw us out a book. That's true. Um, I tell people these are more than business cards because a business card will sit on a shelf and you can only reach one person at a time with a business card. But with a book, you can reach hundreds of people at a time. When you do a seminar and you sell your book in the back of the room, people buy the book. You could, I've sold literally 30, 40 books in the back of a room when I've given a talk. Those people are potential clients, but that's 30 or 40 instead of one. And in the book, in Itty Bitty Books, for example, what we do is we teach our authors to use their book as a blueprint for their business so that they can create webinars from it. They can create seminars from it. They can create tips and tools and get people going to the websites so that a book is, as I said, it's more than a business card. And people don't have to go looking in the book for the name and the phone number, et cetera. It's right there in itty bitty. We have our authors make sure that they let their readers know where to contact them, where to go for more information. So it's a tool. 
Well, that makes so much sense. Uh, how many pages is the average book that you call them itty bitty? 30. 30. <laughs> 30. See, um, Barbara, what, what we do is we have a template. When someone becomes an itty bitty author, we have a template and that what, what, what we send them is a how to write an itty bitty book book. We send them an itty bitty book and we send them a template to fill out and we guide them. So each book is 30 pages. Each book has 15 chapters. Each chapter is two pages. Page one of each book is written in numbered sentences and paragraphs. Page two of each chapter is written in bullet points to send the reader to the website of the author. An itty bitty book positions an, an author as an expert, allowing them to have more opportunity to get speaking gigs and podcasts and articles in newspapers and magazines a book is a is a door opener. Well, and this was really uh, brilliant uh, of you to create because when a person says they're a published author, yes, uh, especially if they're a um, best-selling published author, it, nobody yes. says, "And how many pages is that book?" Exactly. So they assume that it's a substantial book. Well, the other thing, Barbara, is that we call ourselves the new dummies. And the difference between itty bitty and dummies, dummies are 350 pages you have to read with a yellow highlighter. Itty bitty books are the yellow highlights. And so instead of having to go through a 350 page book and then remember where the highlights are, you've got highlights in 30 pages. So who's the dummy now? <laughs> <laughs> I never thought of that. I never thought of that. And it's, it's, it's interesting because when I, and I talk about itty bitty. I just got off the phone earlier with a woman who said, it so intrigued me that your company is called itty bitty. And now she's going to write a book. And she said, I, I've always wanted to write a book, but it, it seems so daunting. And, and, and some books really are. It's, it's That's a, true. But 30 pages, you know, you could hunker down for a weekend and, you know, knock it out. We do have authors who've done that, who've taken three or four days and gotten us there their entire book. Now, you, you publish them under your own publishing brand, correct? Yes, it, Itty Bitty Publishing. Our company is called S&P Productions, and that's for Susie and Petey, my sister and me. And we have three book lines. We have Itty Bitty, which is our flagship. And we have Legacy Press for people who really want a more substantial book. And then we have Little Dog Press Books, which is for children's books. Do you have it in digital form as oh, well yes. as hardcover? Oh yeah, well, all of our books are up on Amazon, Nook, Kindle, Smashwords, Kobo, D2D, iTunes, Barnes and Noble, Bibliotech. We do an Amazon bestseller campaign for all of our authors. As I said earlier, we've done 85 and we have 85 bestsellers. We did our 85th campaign yesterday. And, and, and we offer our authors a lot. We offer them weekly calls, so they, it's, a, it's like a family, we come together, we, I have people come and talk about various ways of marketing. Uh, this last week, we talked about writing press releases and doing publicity and PR. I've also talked about why you need to do um, events and you need to have a professional AV person there and all the different ways of taking that one little tiny book and making it into a major business. Do you help them uh, with scheduling various uh, event appearances? No, I don't do that. Um, I, I, I don't have the bandwidth to do that. We are a small company, but I tell them where to go and mm -hmm. I tell them what to do. And, and, and it, for example, the World Dominating Fair, I tell all my authors, you need to be on those calls. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to various networking, I tell my authors, you need to be connecting with these people. Mm -hmm. And next week I'm having um, Nancy, either next week or the week after, I'm having Nancy Matthews on for uh, Women's Prosperity Network to say, well, when you network, you have an opportunity to meet more people. I mean, that's how I met you. Correct. Yeah. So, networking is really of great value. Well, right now it's paramount because we're not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. And when the pandemic occurred, I was supposed to be on the road that, that week. I was supposed to go from Los Angeles to Santa Cruz to San Jose to Las Vegas and back to LA in those seven days. And that Monday morning, I'm sitting in my office going, okay, 
I guess I'm not going anywhere. So what well, do that's I do? Just, it's, a, it's a lot better to just go from the kitchen to the living room to the study, isn't it? Yes, and my body says, please walk around the block. Please walk around the block. So that's that's what I'm doing after we finish here. It's walking around the block. Okay, that's great. Um, what do you love best about publishing? Being able to take a person's idea and getting it out to millions. It's very exciting. And being able to see the what someone can do with what they know and what they have. Um, it, I think publishing is one of the best marketing tools there is because it's not just a book. It's a book, it's a webinar, it's a seminar, it's uh, weekly classes, it can be anything. And it's a blueprint to grow your business. You said that for it to be an itty bitty book that the average book is uh, 30 pages with your template. But is there a maximum number? 30 pages. 30 pages it's, is the it's, it's yeah, 30 it, pages it, minimum. Well, it's 30, 30 pages of the actual book. And then you've got the introduction and you've got the table of contents and you've got a few things in the front and a few things in the back. But the actual content is 30 pages. And we find that when people see, I have, I have books here, for example, this book, which is called your amazing itty bitty safety book. This was written by a gentleman who's a safety expert for construction. Mm -hmm. He took the OSHA manuals and he put them into 30 pages. This book was translated into Chinese. He was invited to China by the Chinese government to completely redo their uh, safety protocol and to lower um, pollution in China. So that's what an itty bitty book can do. Uh, there's another one here. This woman wrote about space. She's a space fanatic. She loves space. She took it to the Boys and Girls Club of America, and they're having her speak to the Boys and Girls Clubs, and they're buying her book. There are four million kids in the Boys and Girls Club of America. So when you think of an itty bitty book, there, there are people who look at it and go, well, I don't want to be associated with something that's itty bitty. I think itty bitty is massive. These are little books that make a huge difference. And, and for marketing, they're wonderful tools because you can take one little piece. Of it. Um, we did a, uh, one of our author calls this last week, I mentioned earlier, it was all on PR. And the people on the call were able to write a press release and given the information of where to send it so that now they wrote one press release in that hour on the phone and they can send it to 400 newspapers and TV studios and magazines across the country. Well, that is a great way in which you show support for your authors in their business. Yes, and I'm excited about it. And we also will, every once in a while, I'll do a workshop, write your book in the weekend. And I've had my itty bitty authors come to that two day, but then it was, we were in person. Now it would be on Zoom, come to that workshop and actually finish their books while with a group of other people who are finishing their books. It was so funny, it's like a sewing circle. There were eight of us on a, around a big table, all with our laptops and all writing, uh, writing books. So it, whatever I can do to help my authors create their book and then succeed with their book, that's what I wanna do. And yes, you don't make money selling books, but you have an opportunity to make a lot of money. This gentleman who's a sales coach grew his business from $100,000 to $750,000 a year using his book as a marketing tool. Phenomenal. Could you yes. just hold hold one of your books up so the audience can see what it looks like? Yes. Well, a little this bit is... further, a little further away from the camera a little, so that they could appreciate it. And maybe just like sideways so they can oh, see the spine. Oh, sideways. Look, it's an itty bitty <laughs> book. It's 30 pages. I mean, it's literally, it's, it's, so, it's so outrageous. So this is what it looks like on the inside to give you an idea. That's page one of chapter one. It's written in a, par a paragraph of numbered sentences. And then that's page two of chapter one. Well, it certainly makes reading it so much easier when the eye can just scan the bullet points. What, what um, FICA, what, uh, you know, PICA is that? You know, like the font size. Um, 
I think it's 11. I'm not sure. It's oh, small. That's okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it's, it's an itty bitty book. Yeah. <laughs> See what and they, so it is. And though this is, this is the space book. Mm -hmm. This is the um, safety book. This woman here, this QuickBooks book, she was at a QuickBooks conference and she was in the elevator and people were just, you know, talking, going from place, you know, whatever conference mm -hmm. room they were going to. And she's talking to a gentleman about her book. She didn't have it yet, but she had the, she had bookmarks. Mm -hmm. And the gentleman was looked at her and said, well, what do you need now? She said, I need to talk to the program director of QuickBooks because I'd like to speak at the conferences. And he said, you're talking to him. And now she speaks at QuickBooks conferences. Oh, how her, fabulous. She, she's done three books with us. Her third book actually went to bestseller at a QuickBooks conference while, while she was speaking. I guess and, the moral of the story is even if you hang out in elevators, yep. it's always a marketing opportunity. Always. I mean, always. She's done three books with us. She has a trilogy with us. And, and it's a, it's a, it is, I mean, always be marketing. Always, always be in that conversation. And always carry your book with you. This this book here, the space book. Um, Pam was in. Uh, was it where was it? Costco, waiting in line, talking about her book, and someone bought it right then. Fantastic. Well, yeah. What does what does a book like that go for in it's, terms of price? It's six ninety nine on Amazon, two ninety nine on the digitals, and I tell my authors when they're doing talks to sell it for ten and autograph it. Very good. Yes. Okay, well, uh, I think one of the great tips that you just mentioned is that one should always be carrying a book with oh, them. Yes. Uh, do you have any other tips for our would-be uh, authors and listeners? When you think of a, of a book, think of the low-hanging fruit. Where is it going to go best? So, in your business, and I'm speaking you, the listener and the viewer, in your business, where would a book do the most good for you in bringing in people to you and being of interest to the public? Mm -hmm. It's not a good idea to just think about what you would like to write about. It's a good idea to think about what people need and where you can serve them. Because as you serve them, then they want to work with you. Okay. Now, as we round out our talk, um, I understand that you have something special uh, that you have been good enough to uh, offer the listeners out there. Can you tell them what that is? Thank you for asking, Barbara. Yes. In one of my previous lives, um, all the various careers that I've had. I'm also a hypnotherapist and I created uh, four hypnosis processes to increase wealth and four hypnosis processes to write a bestseller. And I'm offering people the opportunity to download those. And when you go to my website, which is ittybittypublishing.com, that's I-T-T-Y, B-I-T-T-Y, publishing.com and fill out, it says for a free consultation or something, fill that out and You'll see when you do that, it'll say notes and just put in the, the, this, this show. And um, that way I'll know that you came from this show and we will send you the link for the downloads and also an opportunity if you want to have a half hour conversation with me to see if you've got an itty bitty book or a bigger book in you. Thank you so much for being with us today. I'm sure it is a topic that our listeners uh, can really enjoy. Uh, this has been another episode of Marketing Tips for Doctors with your host, Dr. Barbara Hales. Till next time.